what's up guys it's your girl liz welcome to or back to it's all about the holidays how y'all doing today your girl is doing great so as y'all can see i'm out here at the garden and these rows right here they are dry as you get a little further over it's still wet we were able to pull these four rows up. We're not done, though, because we're going to pull the rest of those up. We're just waiting on them to dry. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know she's not planted. So the next time that you see the garden, she will be planted, okay? She will be planted, and she will have purple whole seeds popping up out of here. So with that being said, I hope y'all will stay tuned Hi for guys. the update, so, and I will see y'all. Yeah, y'all seen that last time the garden, it wasn't seeded. So in today's video, y'all will see she is seeded. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Y'all stay tuned.
are back to it's all about the holidays how y'all doing today your girl is doing great we're out here in the garden make sure i don't fall y'all know I, I tend to fall in these vlogs updates i don't know what it is anyway so i hope y'all can see me okay so we got a total of four rows seated of purple holes so whoop, whoop, that is great can't wait to get to eating on those anyway <laughs> so we got two more rows well one row completely pulled up and then we got another row almost done y'all see you hooter back there <laughs> he loved being out here in the garden my husband's back there working um he's pulling the rows so we got a total of 19 rows that we're gonna plant baby jed and um i'm gonna do end up doing two rows of okra so I got my seed box in the house and I'm going to go through it tonight and get all my seeds together. I got a few cups from last year that I used. I'm going to put some dirt in. I, I'm going to end up bringing y'all along with me for those who need a, just a quick tip on how to start a garden real quick. Plastic cups. You can go to the dollar store. You can go to Walmart and get you a plastic cup. Go get you some miracle Grow dirt or any dirt of your choosing that you feel is best. And put your seed in there and boom, your seed will pop open. And then once it gets so big, you transport it to the ground or wherever else you want to put it. And that's all it is. So I'll be end up doing a video on that of getting my seeds going. I do got another seed that I started. I got six of them already planted. We're on, um, I'm planting cotton, okay? Cotton. I'm definitely excited about it because I ain't never done cotton before. And it's kind of like a bittersweet moment because one, you can make clothes with it, but I think back on my history. But anyway, I'm growing cotton. Found some, growed it, and it popped up. Hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna see what it do. Just free cotton balls for me, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to get y'all turned around so y'all can see the progress of the rows and get a little bit showing y'all the goats because they're actually out here. My boy over here is laying down in the garden. So I'm going to get y'all turned around real quick so y'all can go ahead and see everybody. Well, guys, he was just laying down. Jed come over and ran him out. Well, made him stand up. I'm not sure what he got going. Don't you walk on my road. Oh, guys. Anyway, so we got this one, the two, three, and then four. All purple hole. And then we got these two. Yeah, this this is four. And they go all the way. Hold on. Let me get in a good spot. They go all the way to the back of the road. That's They go all the way to the back of the garden rather to say so they're pretty long it's a lot of seeds because we're we're not even um we're not done all right so we got we can still turn this up over here if we wanted to boys leaving their toys out here so this is the row that my husband was currently working on and then he's down there messing with that dirt as you get further down it gets a little gummy like right now see it's still kind of somewhat gummy See, this over here, this is dry. See, like, that's dry. That's dry. So you could work this. You could actually come back and see this. So what it is, the ground is not all the way even. So one part dries faster than the other, and then that's what you end up with. That's why this part up here is drier than the part back there where my husband is. So the goats are over there. Yeah, they're back there feeding, um, grazing on that grass. And um, Yehuda, Yehuda's over there, ducked off doing something. But like I said, I told y'all we was going to get it done. We're still working on it just because it's a big progress, you know, pulling the rows up and getting them seated. But between my husband and myself, we get out here and we get the job done. This was a part of life. If you're thinking into getting in the garden, understand garden, it's a fun trait. It's a healthy trait. 
and it's a lifestyle. And I look forward to doing this every year. This is a part of something that my husband's been doing since he was a child. And he just so happened to put me on. And for one, I ain't even think I would be gardening. Like the lot of the things that I'm doing now, I wish I could go back and tell my younger self, just wait. You're going to learn so much in the next few years. Just wait, because I've learned so much. At this point, I've learned how to garden, and I've never thought I'd be gardening. And so those of you who feel like it's something you want to try, do your research. Y'all know how I am by my research. Do your research first and consider, is this something for me? But consider the pros and the cons. The cons are a lot of sometimes you end up in a flood. Sometimes you got bugs, diseases. Those are your cons. Your pros are the nutrition that you can grow, the work of your hands. It's a real proud moment. Sir, do not walk on my roads. It's a real proud moment when you see what your hands have have made. And, you know, the earth, she gives back. That's, you can be good to the land, which we tend to work this land every year. And we come through, we fertilize it, and we try to do our best with gardening. And each year I try my best to try something new. So eggplant is what I'm going with this year. So I'll be trying eggplant out. I don't know if I'm going to put it out here in the garden. I think I'm going to put it up by the house. But um, anyway, back to what I was saying. If this is something you're considering, you don't have to have something this big to garden. You can do it right in your backyard. If you live in an apartment, you can take... See that tub back there? That's a moving tub. You can take a tub like that, fill it up with dirt, and put you some tomatoes down, some doggone um, bell peppers. You could put little fruit, you know, little fruits that would grow in the container and wouldn't need a lot of space. You could do that. You know, if you're low on space, you could get one of them moving containers, and that would actually help. That's not really a bad idea. Some people take old tubs. Some people do um, five-gallon buckets. I mean, there's so many ideas. i seen uh, a man use let me, right here, this block right here. He used it to put his plants in. And, well, you know, they popped up, and they had enough room to sprout and grow. They wasn't entangled with each other. So, you know, get creative with it. But do your research. Put that down, Jed. Put it down. So, I just wanted to share this with y'all. And y'all can give y'all a good update on the garden. She's slowly getting worked. We're just now getting to May. So, we're in time. You know, we're, we're still at a good, perfect time. And we're going to work our ground according to plan. And before you know it, we're going to be out here picking peas. And y'all are probably going to be asking when they're going to be ready. So, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share so that you can keep up with all our new content. And before I let you go, before I let you go, remember that the holidays... Uh, on the 